Hi, in this session, we will be talking about multi-access edge computing, MEC, which is an important concept in Open RAN and 5G. Multi-access edge computing, MEC, is the type of network architecture that provides cloud computing capabilities and the IT service environment at the edge of network. The goal of MEC is to reduce the latency and ensure highly efficient network operations and service deliveries and improve the customer experience. This is also called multi-edge computing. So, multi-edge computing or multi-access edge computing framework brings the processing and storage resources for the application closer to the end user, where the services is going to be used. By keeping those compute capacities and devices or resources close to the users, they will be able to get better latency, higher bandwidth, data processing, etc., which offers performance improvement and adds more reliability in the operations of those applications and services. That will also add the security because the data is processing at the ads and not routing through the multiple networks. Like for example, they can be placed in the hospitals where robots are replicating the actions of doctor in the surgery, which required high precision and latency to operate. Or they can be placed in the factory where machines doing the successive actions in very high sync. Another use case where heavy data transfer and processing is needed like streaming and monitoring the huge number of video cameras in the security system with the capabilities of AI functions like recognizing the peoples so these can be placed in the airports, railway stations etc. So these are some of the use cases where MEC can improve the customer experience and generates revenue from the dedicated stream. Based on the needs, these resources of MEC can be deployed at the client location like in their factory or workplaces. These are called terminal devices. Another option is they can kept or deploy the devices to the nearest server from the client location. And in the third option, they can be kept at the far servers like in the data centers or the regional centers. Multi-access edge computing is an evolution in the cloud computing that uses mobility, cloud services and edge computing to move applications hosts away from the centralized data center to the edge of the network, which is more closer to the end users and provides computing services closest to the application data. Hence, the applications can perform better because the processing task happens more quickly which can provide ultra low latency and high bandwidth to the applications along with the radio network information. Hence, radio access networks plays the important role between the end users and the telcos networks because RAN connects the end user to avail any services offered by the telco. This can be voice, data, anything and also in the MEC implementations too. Let's quickly see that how the MEC mobile edge computing can be deployed in the open RAN system. So in the screen you can see there is the user which is the client area. Another layer is the ads label where MEC resources and applications get deployed. And another section is the cloud backend which is in the data center or regional center. Any new service that need to be enabled in the network goes to the open RAN system which is connected to the MEC host. This MEC host has the hardware and resources for computing, storage and networking. These resources are reserved virtually for this new MEC platform. Now the steps are almost same like creating the new function in NFV. The only difference is that now here it manages by the MEC platform managers. So MEC manager manages the MEC application at the ads label. So any new function that need to be deployed in the MEC will be initiated by the OSS and will pass this request to the MEC orchestrator. Now the MEC orchestrator validate this request and will check the feasibility and will ask MEC platform manager to confirm that if it is has a sufficient hardware resources for the requirement. Once MEC confirms the resources availability to the orchestrator, then orchestrator will give the command to the VIM virtualized infrastructure manager to create the virtual system for this new function and VIM will confirm it back to the orchestrator that virtual machine is created. Then the orchestrator will communicate this to the MEC manager that everything is ready and MEC can enable the function on it. So that is how it works. In the next session, we will quickly go through the open RAN deployment process and scenarios. So stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.